Welcome to Upbeat, another wedding to top weddings. 2014 is an attractive year on the celebrity marriage circuit. Good old George Clooney is now officially married to Amal Alamuddin. A three day celebration saw guests come from far and wide to witness their buddies' vows in Venice, Italy over the weekend. Matt Damon, Cindy Crawford, Bono and Bill Murray were among the crowd. Reports claimed the ceremony was to take place today, but Clooney's rep confirmed to TMZ the I do's were set on Saturday. Everyone left the hotel the following day on boats via the Grand Canal, a James Bond style exit. The happy couple began dating last October and George's never getting married again motto was thrown out the window. I guess Ange was wrong in her prediction, her and Brad beat George by five weeks. One question I just want to know, I know George is a friend, so of course the question comes, who's going to get married first? Is it going to be you guys or George? Probably George. <laughs> Probably George. Someone tried to knock sense into Kim K at a Paris Fashion Week event. The reality star arrived with husband Kanye and mum Chris to hundreds of people cramming around the car. As the fashionista stepped out of the vehicle, a guy attempted to tackle her to the ground by lunging at her legs. Lucky for Kim, her bodyguard literally picked her up and hauled her away from prying hands of the public. We heard the attacker was Vitaly Seduk, a Ukrainian prankster known to lunge at celebrities including Brad Pitt, Leonardo DiCaprio and Will Smith. Kendall told her big sis to stay away from her runway shows. This just demonstrates why. Talk about cramping her style. Rule number one, never claim Lady Gaga stole your music. It will end badly. When it comes to music money, Miss Gaga is on the top level. So when she pays almost $1.4 million on lawyers, they will kick your butt and ask you to cover that fee. One woman found out the hard way, accusing the songstress of ripping off one of her songs. The leader of the Little Monsters claimed she spent three years defending her stance, not to mention reputation. In the end, the judge threw out the case and the lawyer's bill is hovering over the woman's head. Do what you want with Gaga's body, but do not mess with her music. Even celebrities get rear-ended. J-Lo was enjoying a nice Saturday cruising along the Pacific Coast Highway in Malibu. Leah Remini was driving Jenny from the Block's car along with two kids in the back. The convoy pulled up to a red light only to be hit from behind by a small pickup, which then took off. After 911 was called, deputies found the driver and determined he had been drinking. The man was arrested for DUI and hit and run. The booty shaker said, thank God everyone okay. Denzel Washington is anything but an equaliser. He reigns supreme just like his new thriller that dominated the box office over its opening weekend. Knocking the Maze Runner from its stand, Equalizer debuted at number one after its round of film festivals. Two-time Oscar winner Denzel is a trained killer who comes to the aid of Chloe Grace Moretz in her role as a Russian prostitute involved in human trafficking. The flick is based on a TV series from the 80s. Also making its debut but coming in third over the weekend was Box Trolls, a stop-motion 3D film with quirky characters voiced by Ben Kingsley and Elle Fanning to name just a couple. Stay up, mate.